going on YouTube? Today I'll be showing you quickly how to send email with your Gmail account using your Raspberry Pi Pico W. So enough being said, this is going to be a quick video. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your Gmail account and go to myaccount.google.com. Now, the reason you're doing this is because you want to create something called an app password because you can't use your plain text password anymore in Gmail to send emails using this library. So you're just going to go to your security tab in your profile, go down, make sure you enable two-step verification. After that's done, you want to go back to the screen and you want to come and click app passwords and create an app password and just step through the process. Um, I created one for my Mac. Once you have an app password, make sure you save it because you can't generate it again. And you're going to want to use that app password in place of your password when sending that email. So once you're said and done, you should have all the information you need in terms of your Gmail account to start sending the email. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is jump into your MicroPython environment and you want to import the umail.py file. Now, I couldn't find this package in the Thani package manager. I found it online. So I'm just going to link the code below and you're just going to go ahead and copy the code into umail.py in your local Raspberry Pi Pico directory and save it. Next thing you want to do is initiate your script here with these imports. So you want to import network to connect to the internet. I'm using time just in case I time out connecting to the internet. Of course, you want to import the umail library and I'm just using constants to save some sensitive information. Now you just want to enter your email details here. You can just copy this in. This is just the sender email of your Gmail account. This is just the sender name. This can be whatever. Also, what we have here is the app password, which you just created. And we have the recipient email, which is who you're sending the email to. And we have the email subject. So like, comment, subscribe, which you should do. Next thing we have is you want to connect to the internet, obviously to send emails over the internet. So I have this whole function where you simply pass your internet name and your internet password. Next thing you have here is if you're using a uh, Gmail, you want to uh, use the function umail.smtp, smtp.gmail.com and 465. So you need the 465 if you're using Gmail. This is the port number for the SSL for Gmail. Um, if you're using Yahoo and Outlook, it may be a little different. I'll link those ports in the description below. If you're using Yahoo or Outlook, it shouldn't be that big of a difference. And finally, you just want to call these functions. You want to SMTP login and SMTP2, and you can write whatever you want here for these guys. Uh, you could just say from, and then the subject, and also this is, I believe, is the contents of your email, and then you send. And once everything is said and done, you should see this email sent print uh, after it's done running. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that and show you that it works. So you can see I'm connected to the internet. It's taking some time. Okay, it's taking a lot of time this time. Interesting. Yeah, sometimes it does that with the internet function. I might have to restart it. So let me just restart it again there. That's a little weird. Mm. Okay, email sent. Perfect. Now, if I look at my phone, I did get an email, and you should too if you did everything correct from the beginning of the steps. And if you enjoyed this quick tutorial and made your life a little easier, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. And as always, guys, stay tuned.